this year and last year, how's the defense, you know, looking at, you know, um, how's that been feeling so far for you guys? Well, you know, unfortunately, we've been able to, to have a lot of returning guys, um, a lot of guys with some experience, a lot of guys with some knowledge. Um, and to be able to infuse that veteran group with, with some really talented guys coming in either as, as uh, freshmen or transfers has been really good. There's good energy, there's good excitement, um, and, and I think the guys uh, are hungry for, for getting spring started here coming next week. I mean, Jared versus Return is huge for you guys. What was your reaction when you found out? You know, I was excited. You know, one thing with, with Jared, um, you know, I always wanted him to feel like he was doing what was best for himself. So when, when it came time for him to make that decision, um, you know, I con made a conscious effort not to really weigh in too much on it, other than if he asked me my opinion on something or my, my advice. Um, obviously, I wanted him to come back because I love coaching him, but I wanted him to do what, what was best for him, and I was super excited when he made that decision. And that, now, the, you know, now the work starts. And, uh, you know, we started, obviously, uh, about six weeks ago with it, but... You know, he came back for a reason, and, and that reason was to improve all areas of his game, and that's going to be our focus going into the spring. What do, you, what do you see out of Jared that he needs to maybe take that next step? I mean, he was already considered a first-round, maybe a possibly projected first-round pick. What does he need to do maybe to get better to stay on that level? You know, it was challenging for Jared a year ago, uh, just from the standpoint that after the Louisville game and he got hurt, mm -hmm. he was never truly fully healthy again. And uh, so there was a lot of limitations in terms of his practice reps. And I, I just think, you know, defensive line is a position that um, the more repetitions that you get, um, the, the better you're going to play. And I just think there's some consistency in terms of pad level and run game and some t technique things that, that he wants to work on. And that's what this spring is going to be all about, is just to give him that opportunity to really polish his game. And, and I think when that happens, it's going to take his game to a whole other level. Do you have to worry about... Um, I guess we're the same consideration for a lot of guys who are older. Do you worry about you know how many reps you give them during spring just to maybe kind of save their bodies a little bit before they go into fall camp and off season fall camp? Yeah, you know we're gonna be smart about how we use our guys. Um, but you know, like he and I talked about when he made the decision to come back, you know, you, you're coming back with a purpose and, and for a reason. And uh, you know, we're not going to get better by just talking about it. You're going to have to go out there and work. Um, but there is that fine line of being smart about how you use guys. And fortunately, we have so much depth too. It's going to be a necessity because there's a lot of guys that need to get get some reps. Uh, so we'll be able to balance those out as we go through spring. Mike talked about that building that rotation. You know, trying to get enough guys to rotate around. Uh, talked about how you look at the championship game and how that was kind of a big key part for what, what Georgia was able to do. How important is that for you guys to kind of get that rotation? In, in there? Oh, it's critical, especially up front. You know, you want to play play a bunch of guys. You want to be fresh, uh, you know, throughout the course of the game. And, and we've gotten our our program, what I believe, is to the point where um, we start, are starting to have that depth. And uh, that's something we didn't have in those first couple of years. But, um, you know, now I feel like, you know, that depth is starting to be there. And uh, this spring is going to be a, a big test for us to see exactly where we're at. Does this spring feel different for you guys? I mean, you guys are coming off a 10-win season, obviously, but if there's like some momentum maybe gaining for you guys going into this spring. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've, obviously, um, I'm excited about, you know, how, how we finished the season from a year ago because um, it does give you kind of a jumping off point to, to start the spring. Um, but, you know, each year is its own year and, you know, Nothing that we did from a year ago is, you know, going to matter in terms of uh, record or scoreboard. So um, we're going to have to put the work in and, and have a, a great spring. But I do like where our guys are at from a mindset standpoint, the work ethic that they've had throughout the course of the off season. And, um, I'm excited to see that show up, you know, on, on Monday when we can get started. How does the growth of the last 12 months change things for you with that defense? I mean, Jerry kind of being what you thought he was, and Patrick's emergence, and, and obviously, and someone like Gilbert as well. Yeah, you know, from last year at this time to now, it's two totally different rooms in terms of experience. You know, we went into last spring with a lot of question marks. You know, uh, Jermaine Johnson and Kier had played the majority of the reps in the 2021 season. We are really looking for who was going to step up and fill those roles. Well, now you fast forward a year later, and, you know, obviously Jared versus Emergence, um, you know, Derek McClendon, 
being you know a full-time starter from a year ago, Patrick Payton playing as much as he as he did, and then getting a guy like Gilbert who was a who was a starter uh, who transferred in. You know, you, all of a sudden you're, you become a real veteran, experienced group, and uh, you know so so it's going to be a, a different set of challenges, but uh, it's one that I'm excited to start taking on. What does what does Gilbert add to that room? Uh, for one, he, he's he's a tremendously hard worker. You know, he, he showed up, he works, um, he's smart, he's got a lot of experience, um, and you know, he's got a natural skill set to rush the passer. So, um, you know, I'm excited about Gilbert. Uh, you know, we, we've been fortunate uh, to, to have some really successful transfers come into the defensive end spot, and uh, I don't see any reason why he can't be kind of the next guy in that, that role that comes in and has an impact for us. The year that Pat just had, I guess, how have you seen that change in, in mindset and approach, anything like that? How, how does he have changed? Well, you know, every every year uh, Pat has gotten more confident, more comfortable with, uh, you know, what college football is and, and what he needs to do to be successful. Um, Patrick's a special kid. He's, he's driven, uh, he's hardworking, he's motivated, uh, you know, and, and I think I think he's starting to really understand that, that he has a chance to be be a, a really good player at this level and, and uh, you know potentially have an opportunity to go on and make this a career. So I, he's been so focused and so locked in on his daily improvement. I really like how he's approached his work and I think he knows he's just starting to scratch the surface of what he can be. How does that kind of work for you guys? It's it's been kind of amazing for you for the last two seasons to have two transfer ends come in and have success. And I mean, is it just the success you guys have then kind of maybe gets people around the country who are interested in saying, "I want to kind of go there and, and continue my career and, and, and be developed"? Is that is that kind of what the success has been for you guys? I mean, yeah, you know, I, th- I think um, each each. Uh each year is kind of built on on the previous year. You know, uh, Jermaine and Kier obviously started it, and uh, you know I always will look back at, at those guys. You know, at least in, from my standpoint, think that they were kind of like the catalyst to getting things going from a transfer standpoint. And that was a big part of Jared coming in. And uh, Jared came in and had great success, and then that ultimately became a big part of why Gilbert wanted to come. Uh, so you know, I think with each each year as we move forward, it's kind of building on on the previous year, but um, it's a good thing. And, uh, you know, hopefully we continue to be able to do that as, as we uh, move forward here. You mentioned Derek. Thank just you. just how valuable is his experience and consistency in that room? Derek McClendon? Yeah. Yeah, Derek has been tremendously consistent. Um, you know, one of the things I appreciate about him is his – uh, constant availability and his, his the way he approaches his every day, and I think that's what has allowed him to to uh, get better as the years have gone on here. I can't remember a time where he's missed a workout or missed a practice. You know, he's he's just that guy who's consistently depend and consistently available, and he's just super dependable in everything we ask him to do. Um, and I think that, like I said, I think that's what's led to him to be able to continually get better as his career has gone on. Byron Turner, I know, is a guy who came in of those deep the one in his class, maybe the most ready-made, and has battle injuries, not able to be healthy. I guess what what can a, a healthy offseason all that do for him, and what's he bring to that room when when he's kind of at the, the maximum of his power? Well, you know, this is really his first off season where he is he is healthy, and um, you know, I, I think he's he's had a really good off season, really. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I think it showed a little bit on what he was able to do on special teams. He can run, and he's physical, and he brings a lot of energy uh, to the defensive front. And, um, you know, I, I think he's a guy that that you know. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the for a defensive lineman in terms of development, and uh, you know he still has three years ahead of him. And I think this is going to be a critical spring for him. But I think Byron has a chance to be a real good player. Here.